Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what time is it now? Yes! And yes, this is the DW World Equity Time. And from now onwards, every Monday morning, 9 a.m., 10 minutes is all the time you need to spend with us. And we call this the OTOP series. And OTOP stands for one target, one purpose. From now on, every Monday morning, we are going to share with you one very important instrument. And uh, that could be a FX market, it could be a commodity market, it could be a stock, and it could be an ETF that comes from any exchanges around the world. And what you're going to do is, number one, like us. Number two, share. Share, share, share. Share with your friends and the loved one. And most importantly, subscribe to us. All right. And from there, every Monday, just log on to us, watch us and catch us and build your way to the happiness. Otop is right here waiting for you. Stay tuned and I will be right back. I am drinking my favorite champagne while welcoming all of you guys here to the Autumn 20 for the week, 21st December year 2020. As usual today, spend with us 10 minutes and we're going to share with you one very potential and exciting instrument counter based in Hong Kong. Well, stay tuned. Okay, first of all, let us uh, take a look at the news here on the CNBC. Well, you can read here. Trump signs two days funding bill as Congress rushes to finalize spending. Well, moving into the last two weeks of December before we cross into the year 2021, we are still very optimistic and we are looking forward to the US Congress for pushing a relief stimulus which is going to be somewhere like 900 billion US dollars. And we have been talking about this for the last two weeks in our talk and most likely we think it's going to be happening this week either before the Christmas or over the Christmas season. And what will happen if the stimulus of this relief package is being rolled out into the market? And when that happens, we are looking for US dollar probably weakening down slightly to the level of 88.0. All right, dollar index, which is now uh, trading and and close below 90 benchmark on Friday. All right, we feel that there is a little bit more room down there that it will come down if the stimulus package is being rolled out. And then, if dollar index is going to come down very directly, if you ask me what is going to go up, I think this week we have chance to see probably the gold prices will be going up. But then again, today's auto is not about talking on spot gold prices all right i just want to show you so if you are talking about the outright action i think buying gold prices this week may have a little bit of profit room which um from this current 1840 okay uh, 1840 US dollars per ounce we could be seeing the spot gold prices climbing up to perhaps um 1860s on the top of this channel all right that uh, is going to meet some resistance so the room is pretty small and today in the OTOP 20 for the week 21st December year 2020 we are going to talk about another gold mining company which is a state enterprise of China all right that is trading and listed in Hong Kong well we feel that uh, there is a lot of potential that you should be looking at it and what is that let's uh, show you and here it comes Hong Kong 3833 Xinjiang Xinjin Mining. Look at this. Dun -dun. This is the beautiful chart. Alright, it's a day chart. Well, I want to show you on a bigger um, time calendar if you look at this chart itself. Alright. Um, although it has been climbing up recently, alright, recently, and uh, sometime in July this year. This counter was trading at the low of 24 to 25 cents Hong Kong dollars. All right, Hong Kong 24 cents. And it has been coming up to the level of 65 cents and doing a small retracement. All right, some of you might think that is it too high and um, too risky to enter now? Let us do some um, interpretation and study into this counter this week. All right, if you look at this uh, day chart itself, yes, it has come up. All right, uh, perhaps you could be entering here when the uh, EMA 4 and 20 cross on the day of uh, uh, November 19. 
But then again, from this day chart, if I want to show you this month chart, you will be very excited to discover that actually this December month is only the initial first month that the market begins to turn up. So the next continual rise is probably going to move higher in January. All right. So from now until the last day of December, what are we going to do? And my point is, wait for the retracement and we shall try to pick the bottom. All right. Then uh, from the month chart, let's take a look at the weekly chart here. Okay, the week chart of 3833 Hong Kong, as you can see here. Well, it is still submerging uh, below the EMA 200 averaging line. And I think there are a lot of chances for the market to do a little bit of retracement this week, perhaps uh, before Christmas. And uh, be patient. Okay, once you pick on the days, I think there is a lot of uh, potential for 3833 Cincinnati Mining to climb higher and if you ask me how high can it go up then i shall let you know how high that this counter has been coming down from the past let us take a look at the monthly chart okay the month chart again if you look at month chart i showed you earlier all right the low is 24 cents hong kong dollars and the market is only beginning to turn up all right after so many years but how high was this market trading before it came down all right let us take a look at this Okay, starting from 2008, the market actually trade, traded at a high of 15 Hong Kong dollars and came all the way down. And over the years, it was submerging here. All right, basically, it was because that this is a, a state enterprise, but a pretty small mining company. Okay, in Xinjiang, which is the western part of China. So, as gold prices has been trading on the low side for last eight years, from 2012 to 2019, this. This coal prices has been submerging on the low side and now if we are looking at gold prices to be moving up there is a lot of potential and opportunity that if you sit on the bottom of 3833 on the midterm all right when i talk about midterm it's going to be anywhere um we are talking about from one month to one year all right there is a lot of potential at least for the market to go back up here two dollars but it will not be one week two weeks but probably over the next couple of months all right so 3833 is a good pick all right but it will not be immediate and uh, perhaps uh, this week you can be patient to wait for a, li a little bit of retracement back down below um, 60 cents hong kong dollars for you to pick a good um, entry and now let's take a look at the financial risk company and i want to share with you um, what you can expect from this um financials from the market all right market cap 1.3 billion hong kong dollars all right which is uh somewhere i believe uh it's about 150 million us dollars as you can read here the company Xinjiang since mining together with the subsidiaries engages in mining all in mining all processing smelting refining and selling nickel copper and other non ferocious metal as you know copper prices has been moving into the all-time high based on the current time okay as we move down very quickly all right let's take a look at uh valuation of course this company price is under value at 61 cents hong kong dollars but the fair value it should be one dollar and 13 cents based on this analysis okay and the p ratio uh, is at 10.5 which is um below the average of the market benchmark okay let us uh, go down further all right 3833 has a high quality earnings okay and uh, return of equity the company is 0 0.6 percent compared to industry which is 6.3 percent so basically we are looking at this company 3833 to be pretty uh, undervalued all right the financial health then again it is um, uh, pretty healthy okay on the short-term assets covering the short-term liabilities and long-term asset covering the long-term liabilities and the debt to the equity look at here all right um for the state and for the state enterprise 44 percent debt is pretty um normal as we call it okay it is it won't be too high but then again i think it is in a controllable range all right although uh, if you look at a private enterprise 40 percent is pretty high but i think for state enterprise that's okay and there is a sign of reducing debt 
all right this year from the previous 83 percent which was much worse down to 44 percent and why the reason that's because gold prices have been going up copper prices going up and this company has started to make profits so it's a very good time if you look at this market and if you have a plan to enter and pick a bottom and sit for the midterm anyway up to the next one year okay dividend um dividend is not paid yet all right then um, let us see whether we have got any more things to share with you guys okay that's about all all right that's about all um let's go back to the past performance if we can see any earnings to share here all right earning per shares uh look at here all right uh basically the company has got a pretty good um cash flow all right whether it's a uh, operating cash flow or free cash flow all right and um it is pretty healthy if you look at this data here and uh, we are quite sure that this company has got a very steady momentum in recovering and gradually going up so right from this price at anywhere about 60 cents hong kong dollars or if you happen to be able to pick a bit lower below 60 cents i think this is a sweet time that you could be sitting on a good buy all right so this is the old top episode 20 for the week 21st december year 2020 and i'm very happy that we have done this episode for last um 20 weeks around there and uh, we are also very pleased to say that most of the stock picks and the recommendations that we have been sharing with all our viewers have been almost accurate and most of them have made money for many viewers so stay tuned on every monday morning 9 a.m singapore time and please continue to share this video with all your loved ones and your good friends subscribe to us and be our fan and next week after the christmas i shall see you right back here bye bye